Hi everyone, so a while back I made a video talking about subtle sexist things ingrained in our society and some of you asked for part two, so I'm here today to talk about it again. So without any further ado, let's do this. <laughs> Number one is, I think I touched up on this subject and that is weddings. This is old fashioned, but I still saw some posts on this and that is the father's blessing. And I think most people don't do this any more than God. Still, it was a thing pretty recently and I feel like some people still might sometimes think of it, which is the most ridiculous, sexist thing in the universe because it just comes from those times when fathers literally owned their daughters. You know, asking for the father's blessing is like, it's not up to the girl who she marries and wants to marry, it's up to the father to decide if the man is like, good enough for her or whatever the fuck so that's number one <laughs> number two is another marriage related thing and that is taking the man's name this of course works only with opposite sex couples which all of this is kind of like also het heteronormative which i talked about in the other video as well this is still a thing that the woman takes the man's name and no one thinks about it you know it's like it doesn't really matter like it's not important it's not harmful but it just adds to it because it's like why the hell would the woman have to take ma the man's name and i don't think it should be that the man takes the woman's name i just think it should be like one thing I actually thought of, I was like, that would be so cool, is like if they put the names together, like ship names kind of, that then they would have a new name that's like both of those names together, which would be really beautiful and like nice. It's like you take away the woman's last name to just change it for the man's name, which is then like as if she belongs to that man and she's no longer just like who she was, but she's like kind of the man's property, which is disgusting. So, the next thing that I think is the most ridiculous thing ever is that only girls can and have to take care of themselves physically to be like clean or whatever. And this is with everything. It's like if you take care of your skin, for a girl, it's like something she absolutely has to do, and if not, she's like, eh, you know. And for a guy, it's on the other hand, it's like, oh my god, he must be gay if he puts on a face mask, which is just ridiculous, you know. And so this is just absolutely ridiculous because it's like, for girls, it's just like, if they don't do it, then some people just shame them for it. And for guys, it's just like, if they do it, people shame them for it, you know? So this is just ridiculous and we should create a world where everyone can just f feel free to do whatever the fuck they want with their lives and bodies without being shamed for it. You know? Yeah, like this is something I come across all the time. It's like tweezing eyebrows, it's shaving, it's like skincare and I'm just like... The next thing, which is quite like, whoa, is men things, like things for men, are usually not only for men but also for women, but everything that's labeled like for women is like men stay the fuck away from that, which is like... This, I mean, like, movies and books, especially things like this. It's like, if there's a movie that's, like, f for men, as in, you know, stereotypically, like, gender norms, movies with a ton of men in it, with, like, themes that are stereotypically for men, are totally, you know, of course women can watch that. Like, why the fuck wouldn't women watch that? But then a, a movie where there's a majority of women, which, where are those movies, honestly? Um and are labeled for women are like men can absolutely never <laughs> watch that and that's just like are you kidding are you actually like kidding me that like there's this thing you know that like especially books that are labeled for women are like lame you know 
like the thing that we associate with it is just that it's like lame and that only women should read it because for men it's just like too lame and like too female <laughs> which is just like wow 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 another thing is the friend zone i've heard this so many times even girls use this shit the friend zone is basically judging a girl for saying no to dating a guy and usually we don't hear that girls are in the friend zone sure a few like cases occasionally but almost never with guys it's much more common and so it's basically just like just shaming girls for having the right to say either yes or no and that's just like no she can do whatever the hell she wants and she absolutely doesn't have to start dating a guy that she's friends with lastly is the stereotype especially in movies that are like often made by men about women and that is women only talking about men and you know this is a common problem in movies that a lot of the time when there's a conversation between two women it's about men as if women don't talk about anything else yes it's true that women talk about men or women or you know shit like that but I can assure you it's not the only thing that women talk about in the slightest and so this is another thing that's associated with women as in like the stereotype that women only live for, for men and without them we have nothing which is honestly bullshit so so that is it for today's video and uh, if you want me to make a part three why the hell not or if you want me to make like anything else that's kind of like this or if you have any video requests please let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and that's gonna be it have a brilliant day and see you soon in another video bye